made a lot of cones out of the same size of circle that we have has the radius of 10 centimeters and let's see how we will first open the compass to the size of the radius and mark two points on the circumference by joining these two points we make an equilateral triangle and now by bisecting the base we will divide this angle in two parts and therefore get a 30 degree angle now we can cut this sector out and it leaves us with two sectors of 30 degree and 330 degree and now we can make cones from both these sectors we will put a tape on the side of this sector and join the other two sides now notice by doing this the circle gets a height and a two dimensional circle gets converted to a cone they are all made from circle of the same size you can see the slant height of both these cones are the same similarly we will cut another sector of 60 degrees and 300 degrees and we can follow the same process to make a cone again you can notice the slant height of all these cones is same but as the angle of the sector increases the radius increases but the height decreases the slant height is the same and you can measure it by keeping both the cones together so that the place where we are putting the tape are next to each other this is because we are making cones from the circle of the same radius and so we can make lots of cones with lots of different angles starting from 30, 60, 90, 180 and so on and you can see that the angle of the sector decreases, the radius also decreases but the height of the cone increases. So have fun making cones of various different shapes and observe the relationship between the radius of the cone and the height of the cone and angle of the sector by which we made this cone. So have fun.